Everyone knows trees provide a ton of benefit, but they also have a monetary value. In fact, trees are frequently the most expensive assets within a city, and cities spend a tremendous amount of time trying to find their appraised values. Cartograph has made those appraisals faster and easier by incorporating the standards outlined in the Guide for Plant Appraisal, 9th edition. Now you can take a tree appraisal within Cartograph in a few seconds. No more paper, no more spreadsheets. Here's how it works. So I'm going to head over to the software now. And the first thing that needs to be done is we need to fill in some startup data in your already existing tree library. Those columns include the replacement tree size, the installed cost, the species rating, and the unit tree cost. These values can typically be found by visiting your local chapter's ISA website. <clears throat> the next thing that we need to do, and I'm going to head over to a tree, is to create a tree appraise task. So I'm sitting on a tree, a sugar maple here. I'm going to go ahead and create a task for it and give it a praise. Uh, today's dates are fine. Finish and save, and you'll notice that that new appraise task pops into the task section. So now if I go ahead and view this guy, <clears throat> we're taken to an inspection, a, ta a, a, a task that's appraised and it's an inspection. So I'm going to go ahead and start that. And when I come in here, I'm taken to the appraisal detail section first. <clears throat> so there's a couple things that we need to fill in. The first is either the circumference or the diameter. I'm going to fill in the diameter, and you notice that the circumference fills in. We fill in the opposite for you right away. The trunk uh, area has been populated, and you notice that there is some other information relevant to the tree, the, the common name, the scientific name, and some of those replacement, or excuse me, startup values that we talked about a few moments ago. The next thing I need to do is get a location rating, which is made up of site, contribution, and placement. And I'm going to fill those values in real fast here, and you notice my location rating has been filled in. The next thing that I need to do, or the last thing that I need to do actually, is get the condition details, and uh, or condition rating, and I'll go ahead and fill in the details here for roots, trunks, scaffold, branches, foliage, and, and so forth. Four, three, three, four, two, three, one, one. And after I filled all those in, you'll notice a couple things have happened. I've gotten my condition rating, which was the last piece of information we needed, as well as my appraisal method has been populated and the appraised value. We perform the calculations for either the trunk formula or the replacement cost, and those calculations are determined which path we take based on the diameter of the tree that we entered in the first place. If the diameter is greater than or equal to, excuse me, greater than or less than, equal to or less than, the replacement tree size diameter, we follow the replacement cost method. If it's greater than the uh, replacement tree size, then we follow the trunk formula. To wrap up, you can now perform easy, fast, and automated tree appraisals within Cartograph.